It was lovely to see Margaret's garden last week and the sunflowers. What do you think of these? I don't think they'll turn into sunflowers, even with Margaret's TLC. They're weeds, kind of growing in the way. But I wonder if the weeds could talk, what they might say to us. Listen to this story. Hello. Yes, it's me down here. What a wee weed. I've missed you all. I've missed you driving in, coming to church. People drive into car parks. You drive in, and if you see me at all, you moan. You moan at seeing me here, just sheltering at the bottom of the wall. People are driving still into car parks, beginning to shop again these days. And you're not coming into this church car park, but I hear that people are going to drive in to the car park in North Bondgate next week for a service there. People will have to book and plan before they arrive in that car park. But how did I get into this car park? It wasn't booked or planned. Nobody determined that I should be here in the church car park. In fact, it was some careless bird dropping a seed when it had perched on the top of the wall. I didn't want to cause trouble for the people cleaning the car park. I don't want to cause trouble. A weed, after all, like me, is just a plant. A plant maybe in the wrong place. In the parable that Jesus tells, there's a weed as well. But the enemy wanted to cause trouble for the farmer. The weeds weren't trouble, except they were in the wrong place. The enemy planted the weeds in the wheat field, which wasn't good for the farmer. And I watch as people come into the church car park and go to church. And I know that bad, cruel people parking cars at the church and going into church is not good for the church family either. Don't pull me up. Don't pull me up and throw me into the fire. And don't throw people who make mistakes out of church either. Well, not too quickly. Because I need to be in the right place. Somewhere where I won't cause trouble. Somewhere where I might be able to change and do good. And maybe some people in church that drive past me need to change and do good as well. I long, I groan like all of nature for a better environment. For the, the better environment that God has promised. Where all will be good. Where all will be very good. Do you know, it's not just the weeds that groan and long for a better tomorrow. There's something inside of me that just wants tomorrow to be better for me, for Vanessa, for the church family. There's something inside of me that wants tomorrow to be better for all of us. And not just us, for tomorrow to be better for this planet in which God has set us. That the weeds will have a better tomorrow, that the birds and the insects, 
that the people, that the mountains and the rivers, that the deserts and the oceans, all that God has made will have a brilliant tomorrow. And we long for the promise that he will renew us and restore us and bring a better tomorrow. So thank you, Weeds. And I join in your groaning. 